Anytime you handle pesticides, you need to protect yourself with the right equipment and knowledge. This video will help you learn how to handle pesticides safely to protect yourself and the environment. Pesticides most commonly enter the body through the skin, so it is important to cover as much of your skin as possible. When handling any pesticide, wear properly fitting, chemical resistant gloves that are unlined, elbow length and turned down to create a cuff. Long pants and a long sleeve shirt or a coverall. Tall and unlined waterproof boots and a waterproof hat. For some pesticides, extra protection is needed, so you may also need to wear goggles or a face shield, chemical resistant apron and a respirator. The pesticide label lists what you need to wear each time you handle a pesticide. When getting pesticides from storage, always wear chemical resistant gloves and check for any leaking containers or spills. If there is a small spill, put on all your safety equipment and keep others away. Stop and contain the spill, then clean it up according to the directions on the pesticides safety data sheet. When carrying pesticides, such as in the back of a pickup truck, make sure the containers are away from people and other items. The containers must be tied down so they will not spill during transport. The most dangerous steps in handling pesticides are when you open a pesticide container. Then measure and mix that concentrated product. Wear all the protective clothing as required on the pesticide label for mixing and loading. Keep your eyes and face above the container for each step of opening, measuring and mixing. Open the container carefully on a flat surface and if needed, use a knife or scissors that are only used for pesticides. When measuring pesticides, again, use a flat surface and measuring containers that are only used for pesticides. Rinse the measuring containers with water three times and pour all the rinse water into the spray tank. When mixing pesticides, pour the pesticide carefully out of the container so there are no splashes or spills. Once the pesticide container is empty, triple rinse it right away. Make sure all the pesticide drips out of the container into the spray tank and then wait for 30 seconds. Then fill the container about one quarter full with water. Close the container and shake the water around all parts of the container for another 30 seconds. Pour the rinse water into the spray tank and repeat the rinse again and again. Put the empty container as well as full ones and your measuring containers back in the pesticide storage. Never take empty containers home, there may still be pesticide inside them. Before you start to spray, check the area to make sure there are no people or animals nearby. Also check to see if there are any areas you need to stay back from, such as another crop, or a building, or a pond, stream, or a well. Make sure all your equipment is in good working order before you start and check the weather. Stop spraying if something goes wrong with the equipment or if the weather changes such as it gets windy or starts to rain. Be extra careful if spraying inside an enclosed building, such as a greenhouse. If you start feeling sick or dizzy, get out right away and call for help. Once you are done spraying, check if there is any leftover pesticide. You may be able to spray another crop or clean out the sprayer. If it is time to clean out the sprayer, add water in a 10 to 1 ratio to dilute the leftover pesticide. Then respray the area you just sprayed with the diluted leftovers. Remember to wear all your protective equipment when cleaning the sprayer and to do the cleaning away from any pond, stream or well. Whatever you do when handling pesticides, wear the proper protective equipment and know what the label requires for you to stay safe.